Okay, hiding and unhiding shapes. This is another good one to practice with. Um, this one you might want to use based on your state of your application. Now we're starting to get into some, some a little more um, common things that you'll probably use to enhance your, your workbooks. Um, the first thing that we want to do is grab a shape. I'm going to take shape two. And I'm just going to, whoops, hit the num lock. And I'm going to say visible, and this is a property equals, and I'm going to set it to true. Oops, false, because visible would mean that I can see it, which I currently can. And if I come in here, I can run my macro, and now you can see it is not visible, but it's still there. So if I do MSO true, then macros run and it is back so something cool is because this is a property we can actually um, we can we can use its current property so what I'm going to do is say not and then I'm gonna pass in here um, shape 2 dot visible so if shape 2 dot visible equals true here I want to change that um, then it's going to get flipped. So now we should see sort of a toggle action happening. So we run, and we run again, and we run. So now, because we've actually used it, you can use it to toggle visibility pretty easily without having to do a whole lot of um, static variables. Mm -hmm.